So I am a firm believer that in Elden Ring, there are two camps when it comes to enchanted weapons. There are those enchanted weapons that are absurdly broken and it seems that everybody wants to use them. And then there's those other enchanted weapons that everybody just kind of shoves in the corner and doesn't really touch. And thinking about that, as well as also thinking about the greatsword buffs that happened in the last patch, that led to the Golden Order greatsword coming to mind. And I also have another enchanted weapon that you typically don't see people use, the Blade of Calling. And as a matter of fact, I have two so I can power stance them and get some easy last hits on people. For my armor, I have the Aristocrat Headband, Tree Sentinel Armor, Tree Sentinel Gauntlets, and the Tree Sentinel Greaves. If you wanna see my stats and my talismans, both will be on screen. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see what these weapons can do. Let's jump right in. Oh my God, it's a Crucible Knight. Two Faith Enjoyers. Ooh. I should have just done the follow-up of the weapon art there. Wait, hold on. Easy. <laughs> hey, good fight, brother. I like the Crucible Knight build. Always a fan when people are using Crucible Knight builds. Now, you probably couldn't tell there, but there is a specific reason as to why I picked this greatsword and this dagger to go together. See, the greatsword's weapon art is establish order and it has two stages. Here's the first stage. You get some hyper armor and an AOE explosion. Pretty solid. Now the second stage is the really, really cool part and can really trip up your opponents. So yeah, you get that massive projectile, right? Well, on the Blade of Calling, you get Blade of Gold, which is sort of like the Black Knife, except just the light version. Are you seeing what I'm getting at here? You have a quicker version of this projectile to easily chip enemies down and trip them up and punish them. And then you have the big kahuna on this sword just to decimate people who are too aggressive. I guess the happy medium of these weapon arts is Sacred Blade. Kubrick. Hello, Kubrick. Definitely have parry on that. Pop. Pop. Wop. Okay, yeah, that was uh, smart of you to not try to block that. That probably would have ended pretty poorly for you. Hey, dude, I, I like the uh, sword and board. The Iron Great Sword is such a goaded weapon. Oh, nice. Oh, good fight, Kubrick. I like the build, brother. Bro, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Good fight, Forg. I tell you what, this feels like a pretty nice combo. A lot of speed, decent damage, two honestly solid weapon arts. Like, I, I don't think establish order is, is very reliable, especially the second part. But I do think that the first part, you can actually hit that quite a bit. Super Hans. Yo, you look like Lost. Is this Lost? Ain't no way this is Lost. <laughs> oh, okay. If I would have waited, dude, that's actually a good roll catch maneuver right there. Just hit the first part. Oh, nice. Okay, we trade there. Oh, wait, that didn't hit? Ain't no way. Oh, it did. Good fight, Super Hans. Dude, I really wonder if that was lost. I'm curious. If it was, GG's lost. <laughs> Silly Chili. Ooh. Dude, this build looks dope. Death Poker and Zamor Curve Sword. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. I like this.
Oh, damn it. Bro, he's doing some saucy stuff. I like it. Oh, damn it. Ooh. Hey, good fight, brother. I like that build a lot. That's sick. <laughs> this is a Moore sword and the Death's Poker. That's like, that's so interesting too. Okay, so now I'm kind of curious to see how this will do in a multi-combat scenario. And I actually managed to get into a 3v3. So let's make a deal. I hit some funny weapon arts and you click the subscribe. <laughs> okay, that's kind of sick. I think in a multi-combat setting, this Ash is going to be very, very good. <laughs> yes, sir. Come here. Raya, you literally blocked me. Oh, my God. Her decaying body. Her, her decaying serpent body blocked me. Okay. Oh, God. This really, bro? Bro. Oh, my God. Relax. Relax. Jesus. It's been so long since I've done a 3v3, I actually forgot just how cancer they are. The lightning? Oh, damn. Oh, yo, that is so nasty. Yo. Yeah, take that, Stephen Hawking. All right, hey, hey, let's try out the blade of gold, though. Bro, both of these weapons, I think, are super good in this scenario. Oh, that, oh, that was almost such a huge combo. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Stop it. Stop it, please. No. Get away from me. Hey, GG's guys. Okay, so clearly in a multi-combat scenario, established order is disgusting. And I think the great thing about it, like specifically in that 3v3 scenario, is as I'm casting it, you know, ready to blast somebody from across the arena who's just unaware that I'm even doing the Ash of War, if somebody else tries to, you know, come up behind me and hit me, I get protected by the first part. So yeah, I genuinely think that this just has its spot in teamfights. Okay, I do want to see though, like how do these daggers stack up? How do dual daggers stack up against, you know, the typical stuff that you see? I mean, yeah, I'm not going to be able to stagger this guy unless I do like running heavies. Is like, I, I think really all I can do. I mean, to be fair, dude, this running heavy is actually disgusting. Look at this. Ow. <laughs> you can just literally run someone down and just keep spamming it. <laughs> okay, that's so stupid. Good fight, Dunger. <laughs> Willix. Hello, Willix. Orgot sword. Good weapon. Oh. Oh wait, I couldn't... Damn, I really couldn't tank that, that's sad. Huh. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit! Oh, that was clean! We went over the weapon art, bro. Oh my god. Hello, friends. I have come to spread the teachings of the Golden Order. Wait, what's in my flask? Oh, okay. I should have the Faith one on, but... Oh, no. Ash. Ash with the 600 HP. That's wild. Oh, no, Ash. Ash. Ash, please get that vigor up. Actually, don't. It makes my life, e like, a lot easier. Yo, what? 
both of you both of you guys have this much vigor what is this did you watch an ign tutorial oh you're going to summon your friend again <laughs> hey uh hey ggs guys i don't even i what all right i'm gonna give this build a solid 8.3 out of 10 like seriously i am more of a fan of this build than i thought i would be i was kind of skeptical about the golden order greatsword even whenever we started running duels but it was whenever I jumped into multi-combat, uh, yeah, this weapon is a force to be reckoned with. The first part of the weapon art gives you protection, and then the second part gives you just a giant arc of light that is going to hit multiple targets if they are decently close together. Now, don't get me wrong, in duels, the great sword is still viable. Since they got buffed last, like, pretty much every great sword is usable in any setting, honestly. And then as for the daggers, okay, I'll just say this. The running heavy attack on daggers is is kind of crazy because because you're just going to keep staggering and, and it's just so fast and you can just really keep pressure on your opponent. However, in terms of the light attacks, I mean, good luck. If anybody has any sort of poise, they're going to poise trade you. And the weapon art is definitely solid. You know, you can go with this. You can go with the black knife. The black knife is probably better, though, considering you do get the health debuff on it. But, you know, if you just want to go a pure holy build, the blade of calling is an excellent choice. Not to mention, dude, the aristocrat headband just goes so well with the tree sentinel armor, even down to the little red jewels. Now, if you're a true faith maxer and want to make it known, make sure to leave your thoughts on this build down below. If you enjoyed, make sure to press that like button. And if you would like to become a fellow monker, you can always press that subscribe and that noty bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.